Hey John, I'm so glad you could come in today. Uh, based on our earlier conversations, you were telling me that you were interested in something that was both fuel efficient and sporty, and you sort of had your eyes on the Focus Half Shack. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, just hoping you can teach me about it. All right, I'm excited to show you the car. Let's start at the front end of the car. So John, the engine in this car is a two liter, four cylinder, direct injected gas engine, and it's paired to a power shift transmission. So you drive it as an automatic, but the best way to describe it is actually, it's a two, three speed manual transmissions that are being controlled automatically and uses a dual dry clutch system. This is a transmission that's sealed. It's intended to run for the 240,000 kilometer lifespan and uh, you, you just have almost zero maintenance. The power is being transmitted through that transmission from the engine straight to the road. There's no loss of power through a torque converter. There's no loss of fuel efficiency. In fact, this transmission is uh, seven to nine percent more fuel efficient than if we had a conventional automatic in. And in this car, it's actually more fuel efficient than the standard transmission version of this car. Really? It's amazing. That it is. Also on the front end of the car, McPherson independent stretch suspension and a 23 and a half millimeter stabilizer bar so that when you grab the wheel and go, the car is going to remain stable for you. Well, that gives it a sporty feel. It gives it a sporty feel. So let's put the hood down. And you'll see on the front end of the car, John, we have uh, very precision cut headlights. They're actually quad beam halogen headlights, as well as the fog lamps, because you need to be able to see at night in Alberta. Winter time's got lots of dark hours, right? That is true. So let's come on around the side of the car here, and you can see that we have alloy wheels. We also have anti-lock disc brakes on all four wheels, but not just anti-lock disc. We have electronic brake force distribution, which will actually uh, transfer braking power front to back based on the load of the car and driving conditions. So it's going to try and minimize any of the brake lockup stuff that would go on. I've never heard of something like that in this. It's a wonderful safety feature. You also have brake assist. So if you hammer on the brakes, you're in a panic situation, but you didn't quite get enough force on there to apply full braking, the car is going to apply the full braking for you. That's impressive. Once, once you, you come to a safe conclusion of that, it's going to release and you'll be on your way again. As we come down along, you can see the body lines of the car. The mirrors are body colored. The wonderful line coming down the car to the hatchback spoiler. Okay. Is it a Once, nice sporty look? It does. One of the things Ford's not selling you anymore is a gas cap. Oh. It's NASCAR style. Uh, nozzle in, nozzle very out. Cool. As you come back, you can see on the hatchback spoiler, you have a high mounted brake lamp. Mm -hmm. You also have rear window defrost. And you have a defroster for the back wiper blade. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, and the winter is kind of nice, helps out a bit. And a washer for that windshield as well. You also have a backup camera right here. So you can actually see where you're going as you move along there. Very useful. The car is flex fuel capable. So if you're uh, in a place where they sell ethanol blended fuels, you can burn a fuel up to 85% ethanol. As you open the hatch, you'll see there's actually a quite a significant amount of room in the back where you can store the, the uh, things that you want to store out of sight, out of mind with this tonneau cover. If you unexpectedly find yourself in Ikea, <laughs> you drop either the 40% side or the 60% side of the rear seat and you have the extra room that you need. That's great. Cool. So as we come around this side of the car, we'll open up the back door and you can see that there's ample space in the back. For the passengers that are sitting back here, there's a nice concave cutout in the back seat that allows for some extra leg and knee room, particularly for your taller passengers. As we move along up the front of the car, I should tell you that this car actually has something called a, a Trinity crash structure. So if this car is in a frontal collision, that, that force is going to be distributed up this A pillar. The engine is going to decouple and drop down to keep the occupants of the car as safe as possible. So minimize any, any injury. On your side mirror you can see you have a nice convex blind spot mirror. Yeah. And also this little logo tells us they're heated. 
Remember, we have winter in Alberta. What good are your side view mirrors if they're frosted it's over? A little defrost them. Remember how much you hate scraping them, and then the mirror gets out of position. Absolutely. No worries on this one. Once we get inside the car, you see you have power locks. You have your power windows and your power mirrors. Uh, inside the car itself, seven airbags. So you have airbags on the front, on the seat side. You have curtain airbags that protect both the front row and the second row. And you also have a driver's knee airbag. The steering wheel itself is both tilt and telescope. On the steering wheel, you have controls for your audio, for your cruise control, your Bluetooth connectivity for your phone and for some audio commands. You have an automatic headlamp setting. You have fog lamps and the trunk release. You also have paddle shifters. Paddle shifters? So remember that sporty feel you're after? Definitely. Just pull this thing into S instead of into drive and you're going to be shifting on your own up and down on the paddle shifters. Oh, that's cool. And that's when the seat bolsters are going to come in handy so you don't slide off the seat as you're taking the corner. Wow. Yeah. The backup camera is going to show up in here and you do have, again, your heated seats heated and your heated steering wheel. Heated steering wheel? Heated steering wheel. That's perfect for Canadian weather. All right. Want to take it for a rip? Absolutely. Okay. Hop in. Hop in. All right. Ugh. 